morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Michael, on your Monday morning. The power of asking for permission. Many times we, as leaders, as spouses, as parents, we just start giving other people advice, telling them what they should do, how they should do it differently. Consider this. And most times, when we just take it upon ourselves to dictate, as some people think it is, is the other party really listening? Are they taking it in or are they closed? And they're just waiting for you to shut up and go away. The power of asking permission. When you're in a conversation and you feel like something needs to be said, always ask, do I have your permission to speak freely? And then their guard will come down, they will give you permission, they will open up and give you the opportunity to speak freely. If we go into a conversation without asking that question, that person may be guarded. They may be resistant. They may be taking these things personally, and we don't even know it. And their, re their resistance is up before we even start talking. But if we go in there, we praise them, we let them know how grateful we are to have them, whether they're our child or our spouse or someone on our team, and then ask for permission, is it okay for me to speak freely? Do I have your permission to, to make a couple of observations? And when they say yes, they are open to whatever you say. And then the information will be received and embraced, and then they can make a shift. So remember, simple thing, the power as, of asking for permission takes conversations to such deeper level that the other party will be open to what you have to say versus be resistant because you never asked them if it's okay. I hope this has been valuable. I want to thank you as always for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I want to wish you a productive, profitable week, and I'll see you next Monday. Be well.